I think we just stepped into Mad Max. A little bit of the wasteland over here of the abandoned asylum for the criminally insane. which was bloody fun as well. And uh, yeah, definitely glad we got out. So thanks very much, Scott the Canadian Beaver. And um, yeah, here's to the Stealth Camping Alliance October challenge. So thanks everyone, looking forward to seeing it. Um, and big congratulations to Stealth Monkey for winning the September challenge. Well done, mate, you definitely deserve it. And yeah, looking forward to everyone on the next video. Cheers, guys. Hello guys, I'm in the cafeteria of uh, a slaughterhouse, an abandoned slaughterhouse. This Nova is coming. Canadian Beaver, also known as Smiling Scott. This will also be my entry for the Stealth Camping Alliance Halloween October Challenge. Well, the Windigo is basically Canada's version of the Bigfoot, but much, much scarier. In the folklore of Plains and First Nations people, the Wendigo was once a legendary hunter who turned to cannibalism and became an insatiable monster. As the tale goes, the Wendigo was once a lost hunter. During a brutally cold winter, this man's intense hunger drove him to cannibalism. After feasting on another human's flesh, he transformed into a crazed man-beast.
roam in the forest in search of people. All right, we're going through the woods right now. We're looking around for stuff. I'm not seeing or hearing anything. Now, again, this creature could be from 8 to 15 feet tall. So, hey, what's that? Hey, up there. What is that? Your time. Take your time. All right. Let's keep following our notes. Did you go fetch some more candles from the barn? I don't. No, no, no. Come on. No. Seriously. What is that smell? What do you mean? What do you mean? Go! Oh shit, no oh, shit! What are you talking about? Go! What the hell? Okay, so we got our boogeyman offering set up here. There's our jack lantern that keeps evil spirits away. But if that doesn't work, we got our his, his beer and his gift card for Knife World. So hopefully that satisfies him and he leaves us alone. So, all right, we're going to go to bed here. See you in a minute. Hello everyone and welcome back to Simple Outdoors. This time is for the Stealth Camping Alliance October Challenge to see how we celebrate Halloween. <clears throat> and I gotta tie my shoe. Always have that feeling that you're being watched or that someone's following you. Just my backpack. As freaky as this place is, at least we got heavy rain, I don't hear what's going on outside and then up in the wax. Damn, this is really heavy. I wonder if that lake being that big, do you think this creek is going to go up 
and flood out in here. So we've been busy today. We've been trying to get re right into the spirit of this thing, decorating the van, getting the cobwebs up. And we've also been making pumpkins. For our lost loved ones, I imagine. Sorry, it's windy. I've just realized it's gonna be really windy, isn't it? There's the church. Oh, what's that in that top corner? <laughs> See the top of the turret? What's that? is that Stealth camp who I am. Ooh, baby. What you doing, cat? Oh, can I have a Guinness? How much? get this Halloween video done. The bag is heavy today, man. Grave Digger brought the shovel. Cause he is Grave Digger after all. probably thinking where's my Halloween mask well guys I didn't come here to mess around I didn't come here to disrespect I came here to show you the most haunted place in New Zealand and camp here
at this, the whole floor's burnt out. Look at, look at all the collapsed piping that must have been in the roof. And boy, did I come to the most haunted place in New Zealand. This is it, man. And this building was, had a perimeter fence and this was designated for the criminally insane. Good morning. Parents would tell the story of La Llorona and the story went that there would be a little farther downtown. One night it was monsoon, it was pouring rain and the washes were flooding and this boy and his family were in their house and someone knocked on the door. And the boy saw his father go to the door and ask someone outside, what is it, what do you want? And he heard a woman crying, oh, oh my niños, they were playing in the arroyo, have you seen them? And their father said, no, I haven't seen your niños. Hey, what's up? So I think I found a spot that's pretty promising. A little creek down there. There's some houses here, but I think they're just remodels or something. I don't think no one's living there. So the trivia question is, in the original Nightmare on Elm Street, what is Nancy's address? I'm not seeing anybody. I don't know where they're at. Okay, so I'm in the hammock. As you can see, I didn't set this up, but whatever. This hammock stuff is hard, dude. I'm not used to it. Take a walk down to the graveyard and check it out. Man, it sure is spooky here at night. There's bats flying all over. All right, we turn the light off. Stealth Camping Alliance members, I'm getting ready to do the October challenge and we're gonna camp 
near a graveyard. I marked my entrance into my campsite so that I wouldn't lose it down through here. I marked the box. Uh, what? Where's my bag? What the heck? How in the heck did it end up over here? Almost looks like there's a weird little trail right here. Uh, this is weird. This is really weird. Maybe we're not alone. Great, now my food's gone. There's a lot of weird stuff going on out here. Hey guys, time for the Stealth Camping Alliance October 2022 Challenge Halloween. So we find ourselves at a local cemetery and uh, we're going to make it happen. You know, I've got to thank Steve the Transit Camper for turning, on, turning me on to this beverage. I love that stuff. So we're going to enjoy our Guinness. I love Little Amber. Sandwich. Such a good little girl. Cheers and cheers to the Stealth Camping Alliance. Here's the challenge of finding it in the dark now. Home sweet home. Well, that's it, guys. This is a complete fail. I jumped in the hammock and it sprung a leak. Tore. This one was torn before. So there's nowhere to repair that in the field. So that's uh, the end of this. What was such an exciting and fun stealthy so anyway we're going to regroup and figure this out oh, we're out of here though there's no sleeping I didn't have any other okay well that ended rather abruptly we're back at the falcon's nest and uh, yeah the hammock tour <laughs> Camping Alliance Halloween October Challenge.
flame. wanted to thank Smiling Scott. Scott, you're the best. What a great challenge from Canadian Beaver. <clears throat> Coming out here this afternoon to do my Halloween stealth challenge for um, Canadian Beaver. Thanks, mate. Ugh. Hey, Fred, how's it going, mate? Yeah, we don't talk much. Mate. I don't know, I think he's been out here a while. Him and his mate Rex here. So yeah, that's where we camping tonight. Me, Fred, Rex. I suppose Jack and Jill too. They're here somewhere, I guess. Or bits of them. What he hasn't eaten. Alright, good morning YouTube. Hashtag Stealth Camping Alliance Halloween Challenge. I slept alright. It's a bit windier this morning than it was last night, that's for sure. Um, not much happened during the night. So y'all, I'm on my way to my uh, camp spot. It's a little small cemetery that has some of Michelle's family members in it. I know it has her grandma in it. Check out this around here so they don't float off. You gotta bolt them to the ground. And this kind of meets it's semi-abandoned. Look at the stuff from Ida still kind of tossed about. But yeah, this is where I'm going to try to find a spot to camp tonight. I mean, where's the coffin? You know what I mean? That's kind of creepy. So it's probably somewhere in the marsh. And look at this one. Lift it up and set it on another tombstone. So yeah, I'm going to go get my backpack and set up camp. And then hang out with my mother and father-in-law and brother-in-law. So yeah, that's the plan. Well, I still got a little daylight, y'all. I gotta turn it off every time I hear a car come with. Tune, tune, snug back, ionosphere. Getting it ready, y'all. Super stealth. Good night, y'all. I just talked to my wife and uh, I think I'm gonna uh, hit the sack, but for some reason I can't get the line out of my head from the I think it's the Night of the Living Dead where they're coming to get you, Barbara. When they're in the cemetery and then the zombie breaks a dude's uh, neck that was making fun of his sister or whoever she was. Well, you used to really be scared here. Johnny. You're still afraid. Stop it now. I mean it. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Stop it! You're ignorant! They're coming for you, Barbara. Stop it! You're acting like a child! Look, they're coming for you! Look! There comes one of them now! He'll hear you! Here he comes now! I'm getting out of here! Johnny!
she was. But yeah, that's, and also, if you listen, we ain't had rain in a little bit, so it's raining, so hopefully it'll cool it off. But yeah, good night, y'all, and I'll, I'll touch in with y'all in the morning, I'll turn y'all back on if something cool happens. Graveyard Stealth Camp 2022, what, what? says I don't care who you are, here's to your dream. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> the old sailors return to the bar. Here's to you, I have. And the fat drummer hit the beat with all his heart. Channel Hidden Hammock. Yeah. 